Today I'm going to give you some basic information about fat. Now fat has many roles within the body. It helps protect your organs, helps absorb vitamins, and it also helps uh, with hormone production. So the main thing that I notice when I remove or at least lower fats in my diet is uh, the brain function. So sometimes my brain function will slow down, I'll get uh, very forgetful. Now you need to be doing... Shit, I can't remember what I was talking to. Beginner or advanced? Shit. What else was there? I forgot what it was. Shit, I forgot again. Dedication, passion. Shit, cardio, okay. So, shit. Oh. And shit, what was I finishing on? Shit, just drew a blank. Shit, man, I drew a blank again. Shit. Cut. Sometimes I, I can't sleep at night, so I get tired and I can become irritable as well. So this is normal if you're encountering any of these side effects. You're just gonna have to deal with it, really. On this diet, I pretty much like to eliminate all saturated fats. The kind of fats that I will take in is just my omegas in the morning and at night, and then my naturally occurring fats throughout my protein sources. I cut everything out because, uh, other than this, because it is very calorie dense. You've got nine calories per gram of fat. So remember when you're at the gym, the last thing that you want to be doing is burning off excess calories of fat that you're taking in. You need to burn off the ones that you're actually storing. Our body actually stores subcutaneous fat when we're overeating or taking in excess calories. So we have to give the body a reason to utilize these calories. And a lot of the time that's gonna come through exercise. So that's why we're practicing the weight training and cardio throughout this program. The more muscle density that you have, the more calories that you're gonna burn off just at a, at a sitting state. And the cardio, obviously, is gonna bump up your metabolism as well, along with your meal frequency to help get rid of the subcutaneous fat. Men and women will store fat in different areas. Generally on women, it's gonna be the hips, thighs, buttocks, backs of the arms. On the guys, it's mainly the torso, the midsection and the lower back. You have to just keep dieting and dieting until it comes off this area. Sometimes on guys, they'll get lean throughout their arms and legs first, but they're still holding it over their midsection. You just gotta keep going until it comes off this area. So in the past, a lot of my clients, even though they didn't lose weight on the scales or could really see anything in the mirror, have said they can feel that they're burning fat. This is just a load of rubbish. You can't feel fat coming off. You can only see it in the mirror or judge it on the scales, one or the other. So uh, j just don't let your mind play tricks with you there. If, if you're falling behind, you're falling behind. You need to get ahead. So I, I really hope that's cleared up a few things about fat and its use in the body and why we're really uh, cutting the majority of it out, especially the saturated fat. Tomorrow is gonna be another non-training day. The reason being, I've just trained three days in a row, hoping that I can recover from this sickness by taking an extra day off. Plus, I'm traveling to New York as well. So hopefully this will be, uh, this will work, and I'll see you again soon. Cut. I'm packing for a trip to New York, catch up with me, and see the lengths I go to in order to stick with my diet.